My name is Paige, and I'm a 28-year-old office worker. It's been three years since I married my husband, John, who is two years older than me, and we don't have any children yet. Having a baby is a divine gift and should be left to fate. But my husband and mother-in-law have a different perspective. Ever since we got married, my mother-in-law, who lives nearby, has been pressuring us by asking, Don't you have children yet? But my father-in-law has always stepped in to stop her. However, soon after my father-in-law got ill and was hospitalized, which caused my mother-in-law's pressure to heat up because no one would stop her, she comes to our house all the time and asks me questions like, No children yet? You're not pregnant? And where's my grandchild? And I'm getting sick of it. I'm also fed up with my husband who joins in the heated discussions without blaming my mother-in-law and attacking me. I know I'm not the only one to blame for our inability to have children, but they both blame me for some reason. Hey, you've been married for three years already. Are you even planning to have children? Goodness, I've heard this about 700 times already. Isn't it obvious that I'm not pregnant since I haven't announced the pregnancy yet? I'm sorry for marrying someone who can't fulfill her duties as a wife. Excuse me, then that would mean you're not fulfilling your duties as a husband either. If you want children so badly, then come with me to the OBGYN and get tested. I did and was told that there was nothing wrong with me, so maybe it's you that have a pro- Are you being serious? It's always said that women are to blame for not being able to have children. Exactly. If you have time to blame me, try and put in some effort. I am, you idiot! Yes, I have already been to the OBGYN and had some tests done. They told me to bring my husband along next time as much as possible. But no matter how much I asked him, he wouldn't come with me. If we don't know the cause, there's nothing we can do about it. I too want to have children, but lately, I'm not sure whether I would be happy if I were to be blessed with a child under these circumstances. However, to maintain a happy marriage, I managed to calm my husband, who was whining, and finally, I was able to get him to go and take the test one day. He seemed pissed off, though. All that was left was to wait for the results, and in the midst of all this, we celebrated our third wedding anniversary. We've never celebrated up until now, but for some reason, John said that we have to make it special this year. It was unexpected, so I was happy, but had mixed feelings at the same time. Well, I respected his desire to make it special, so I cooked and waited for him to come home, being all excited. However, when the door opened and I was about to surprise him, he came home with his mother! What's going on? What the hell is this? Are you going to celebrate someone's birthday? Ugh, he immediately started to find fault with the food that I made. You said we're going to make it special. We are going to. Three years of marriage is a very special day. Huh? Is she going to celebrate with us? But neither of them looks like they're in celebration mode. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, have you heard the phrase, three years of marriage without children leads to separation? No? Well, people like you are called barren. What? Barren? In my hometown, it's considered okay to abandon Baron in the third year. Uh, what? John was grinning, listening to his mother's unbelievable words. So this is what they mean by special? They're both trying to kick me out! Then his mom took out an already filled in divorce paper from her bag. Hey, wait, divorce? This is too sudden. Seriously? I've been tolerating you not fulfilling your wife's duties for three years. Also, for you to blame me for infertility and forcing me to go to the obgyne to get tested? My pride is shattered. Hey, but if you want children, men should also get tested. Shut up! You're so annoying! What? This isn't going anywhere! This is a married couple issue, so you have to go too! Duh! Who's the one getting pregnant? 
you are. Then it's definitely your fault that you guys can't have children. Uh, don't blame him. I was asked all sorts of questions while being tested. And do you not know how uncomfortable I was, you bastard? What the hell? I got tested as well, and a lot more than you. Many times more, you scumbag! The shock of being asked for a divorce faded away just like that the moment I heard their selfish reasoning. I was wasting my time with this pointless debate. On the contrary, I was willing to accept the divorce if that was what they wanted. Actually, that's what I want. Well, okay then. But I will make you pay for the divorce alimony though. What? Are you serious? I'm the one who wants the divorce alimony here. Yeah, exactly, useless baron. After she said that to me, she threw my already packed stuff, which I didn't even notice, in my face. Hey, th that was very rude! Get out of here! What are you doing? Stop! My husband joined in. I was then kicked out of the house with a few belongings. Since my parents' house is far away, I had no choice but to stay at an internet cafe. However, I used my frustration as a driving force to find a new apartment in three days and began divorce negotiations. I was prepared for a long battle, but it seems like their lawyer told him that they couldn't win the case. They honestly told the lawyer that the divorce was my fault for not being able to have children and that they kicked me out on the third wedding anniversary because I was barren, so of course there was no way they could win. Thanks to this, I was able to receive alimony and cut ties with those stupid people. I was thinking of giving them a little more punishment, but after I heard that my divorce was finalized, I decided not to get involved with them and forget about them. Besides, I thought that finding happiness as quickly as possible would be the best revenge possible. I am already living a new life and I am now at the OBGYN. There, I encountered someone I never expected to see. When I was waiting by myself in the waiting room... Huh? Why the hell are you here, Paige? I want to ask the same question. I made a funny face pretending to be someone else, but he instantly found out. Uh, John, who's this? Huh? Oh, my ex-wife, the Baron. What the hell? Is he s seriously still calling me that? Oh, I'm sure you took good care of my husband at that time. I heard about you. Wow, you had such the audacity to stay as his wife for three years, even if you couldn't have children. What? Why do I have to be told something like that? We just met! Wait, before that, did she say my husband? Did he get remarried? Also, I can't believe that he's at the OBGYN. He hated it here so much! My ex-husband noticed my confusion and grinned. Are you still undergoing fertility treatments? Seriously? Well, even if you are, I won't remarry you. Sorry. Do you want to know why? Because I already have a loving wife and son. A loving wife? Oh my! That's me. <laughs> I know that. Anyways, did he say son a moment ago? Our son is getting tested now, actually, so mommy and daddy are waiting like this. Yeah, I'm starting a new life, so there's no point in getting fertility treatment now, you know? <laughs> Why the hell are you thinking I'm doing it for you? Face the reality, it's been two years and nine months since the divorce, so there's no way we'll get back together. What a coincidence. I'm starting a new life also. What? I got married last year, and we're like lovebirds every single day. <laughs> the moment he heard what I said, his expression went from happy to pissed off in an instant. Yes, six months after my divorce, I met a wonderful man named Owen, and we married after a year of dating. What? What kind of nerve do you have to divorce me and then remarry someone else right away? Hey, I know! You've been cheating since you got married to me, huh? What are you talking about? You also got remarried! Hey, shut up, Baron! Stop acting like you're cool or something cheating on me! Not a chance! Huh? 
What the hell is he talking about? I also have something to tell you. I was already dating Sophia when I married you. Don't underestimate me. I can have an affair. Um, I'm not? Wait a sec. You were seriously cheating on me? How dare you? I really want to see the guy who had an affair and remarried you. <laughs> I'm so lucky that I got with you quickly, Sophia. <laughs> I have a young and beautiful wife and a long-awaited child. My mom is also happy. God, stop it, Utah. <laughs> I thought it would be rude to ruin the relationship between these two who seem so happy. But let me damage it a little bit now. Shh. <sighs> I saw my current husband walking towards me and thought about wiping those smiles off their faces. If you want to look at my current loving husband's face, go ahead. He's actually right behind you guys. Huh? When they turned around, they must have seen my darling's beautiful smile. Yes, a happy, excited smile from him as he held our newborn baby. <laughs> Sorry for making you wait. I was changing the diaper. My beloved baby is sleeping peacefully in my husband's arms. Uh, hello. My husband greeted them looking confused, but my ex-husband and his wife were confused. This is my ex-husband, and the person next to him is his new wife, who he cheated on while we were married and was able to have a long-awaited child. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, sorry, no, that's a, uh, that's a that's something. Hey, your inner voice is leaking. <laughs> I told Owen everything about my ex-husband, so he seemed to know what was going on right away. We'll be over there. So if you need anything, call me. I know that you guys are going to talk about what I don't want our child to hear. Okay. He then quietly left, but waited at a place where he could see me. He's a reliable person, unlike some other person. Whose kid is that, Paige? Hmm? It's ours. What? Yours? Seriously? But you can't... How did you... Oh, do you want to know? It's true that I hadn't had a baby for three years while we were married, but don't you remember that my test results showed that nothing was abnormal? Huh? Uh... Oh, right! Your thinking hasn't been updated, so you still think it's the woman's fault if she can't have children. I see. If we delayed the divorce a little longer, you probably would have realized that it wasn't my fault that we couldn't have a child for three years. Huh? What do you mean? Because the cause of... Stop! Oh, the new wife realized that it was inconvenient for her to hear the rest of the story, so she butted in. Sophia? What's the point of talking about this right now? Are you implying that my child is with another man just because John's infertile? Yes, I thought so from the beginning. After the divorce, I remembered that I hadn't heard the results of my ex-husband's tests, so I came here by myself. There, I heard that he had severe infertility that was difficult to treat. So, out of a little bit of sympathy, I decided not to punish him more than the divorce settlement. But that fell apart quickly after seeing him and facing ridicule again. What are you saying? I never heard of a guy being infertile! There's no way I'm that! Wait, you didn't hear the results of the test? You didn't know that men can be infertile, right? No, you don't want to admit that, so of course you don't care about the result. Wait, so this guy was seriously the cause of it? Huh? Cause? Wait, so, so does that mean that's really not my child? Were you cheating on me? Sorry, but this is all your fault. You and your mother would not shut up about having a child. I was confident that I would be able to get pregnant right away, but couldn't so I was panicking. I was also told that if I didn't have a baby within three years, I'd get kicked out, so I had no choice. Wow, the idiots are treating her the same way as me. I honestly feel a bit sorry for her. 
I was able to take you away from her, so I didn't want to get divorced. I was also finally able to become a full-time housewife, so I didn't want to ruin that. What the hell? If it's not mine, I'm not raising it. Let's get a divorce. Why? Why do we need a divorce? You're infertile, so you can't have children whatsoever. Just think of him as you're a child and act big-headed in front of your mom. <laughs> That's messed up. I thought he wouldn't listen, but... Well, uh, uh, that's true. He just accepted it. <laughs> wow, what an idiot. They're a match made in heaven. <laughs> we have our form of marriage. You might think that you've won against me by having a child, but we're a million times happier than you guys. Yeah, we definitely are. Well, seems like they're relieved. I'm so happy to see you two happy. While we're at it, I want to give you two a gift. Really? What is it? <laughs> I'll be charging you two for alimony. What? Those are exactly the reactions I wanted to see. Hey, I paid for it already! I lost a lot of money because of an incompetent lawyer! Exactly! That was for suddenly divorcing me and kicking me out into the cold just because I couldn't get pregnant. What? Cold? That day was summer! Oh, he actually remembers that. Maybe I felt cold since I was cold in my heart. <laughs> Anyways, the alimony at the time was for being evicted from the house. The alimony this time that you two need to pay is for infidelity. Also, I'm considering suing you two both for a defamation, so you two better be prepared. What? When did I insult you? Did you seriously forget what you said a few minutes ago? Didn't you call me a baron? What? You insulted me too! You said I was infertile! Huh? When did I say that? All I told you was that I remarried after divorcing you, have a child, and am living happily now. What else did I say? It's your new wife who brought up that you were infertile. No? Ugh, but, but you were cheating on me with that guy, so we're even here! Cheating? Me? Please, I would never do something stupid like that. It's totally a waste of money and time, and it's something losers do unplanned to hurt others. Owen and I met and fell in love six months after the divorce, so don't even compare us to you guys, okay? Excuse me, that's a lie! You're obviously trying to cover it up. Exactly, you freaking liar! You just insulted me again! If you still don't believe me, then why don't you research about Owen? Hmm? There's no way to know if there's no evidence left! Well, true that. But if he wasn't in Japan while we were married, wouldn't that be considered evidence that we didn't even know each other? I'm sure it is. What? Wasn't in Japan? My husband was living in Sweden two years ago. He was studying medicine there. He's an internist now, actually. Sweden? Internist? He's been living there for six years and has never come back once. He came home three days before he met me, so how on earth could I have an affair? So you... you weren't cheating on me? If you still don't believe me, do some research. Well, it's going to cost you money, so I wouldn't recommend it because you guys need to pay alimony and childbirth costs from now on, so... No! What's going on here? A baron married to a doctor? You completely lost, John! Happiness is not measured by winning or losing. All that matters is for you two to be happy. Well then, look forward to receiving a call from the lawyer. Have a nice life. <laughs> what? No! Please forgive me, bitch! He then started making a fuss and was scolded by men nearby. So he went home in shame with his wife. Afterward, the DNA test for the baby between them revealed that there was no chance of him being the father even though he did say that he would accept a child even if it's not his, he just couldn't and got divorced. It seems that he made Sophia pay for the alimony for having an affair, 
But since I also made them pay alimony, plus a settlement for defamation charges from him, his bills ended up being quite a lot. Oh, right! My ex-father-in-law recovered and was able to leave the hospital. But my ex-mother-in-law told him that she kicked me out laughing. He got pissed off and told her to divorce him on the spot. She lost everybody around her and became alone. As for me, I have been living a happy life with my family of three. Today, I'm enjoying dinner with my husband's friend at a nice restaurant. I've been married for three years and want to have children, but it's pretty difficult. Did you get tested? Yeah, but I got told it's just a matter of timing. There's so little information out there about male infertility. There's a lot for female, though. True. People talk about gender equality and stuff, but people often think infertility equals women because the information isn't being shared equally. There are many fertility care and communities for women in the world, but there is still not much information for men. That's why the image of infertility as a female thing may not go away. All right. As a doctor, I'm going to spread the word about male infertility. I'll do that on social media too! Let's do this! Good luck you guys! I'll be rooting for you! They are highly excited. <laughs> if more efforts like this are made, even just a little bit, more couples may be able to face infertility together. However, the most important thing is not to rush pregnancy, and not to make others rush you. I hope you don't forget that. <laughs> Thank you for watching! What kind of crazy people will we get to see next? Stay tuned for more!